Howdy folks, my name's Darren from RC Scale Models and today we'll be taking a inbox kit review uh, Hobby Bosses 148 scale FA18E Super Hornet It's the brand new kit for 2021 from Hobby Boss Let's take a look So this is what we get in on the box you get some paint options, you get a nice updated version of the uh, Blue Angels, you get Top Gun, Mavericks aircraft in this in this uh, boxing, typical, uh, probably be cashing in for the movie. I do like this one, which is the uh, USS, um, the uh, Golden Dragons is pretty cool, CAD work, nice, nice details, so you can get open nose for the Invader, detail cockpit, full length intakes, dipping type of landing gear for the launch rail for an aircraft carrier open or closed nozzles folded wings or optional side hatches open which is pretty cool uh, kit number for this is 85812 uh, massive decal sheet and some weapons pretty standard stuff from hobby books okay folks this is what we get inside the kit Standard stuff, uh, Hobby Boss boxes, really thick cardboard, good sturdy boxes. It'd be tricky to get into sometimes. As we are on the top, we are loaded with our paperwork, standard stuff. The kit is loaded with plastic. Down the side, we all get the goodies. So let's take a closer look at this. So this is all the paperwork. We get some advertisement of the upcoming vehicles. We've got a uh, USS, uh, not USS, um, Russian truck. Uh, some crew figures. We have a IDF tank, pretty cool. It's up to date version with the uh, slat armor. Standard stuff advertisement. Color call outs. We have the uh, Blue Angels. Which is nicely done. We have this one here. Is it this one here? I like it's Tom Catters, obviously Mavericks aircraft from the movie. These pieces here are the inside fins, so the outside would be the, the red, and the inside is black, and then the inside of this one is black. We have low vis markings, standard grey. Uh, I think this is Tom Catters as well, but in grey. We have this one here in low vis markings, pretty cool. And then we have Golden Eagles, which is done in the blue and yellow, which is the same as the um, Blue Angels. I have to stop and think then. Uh, and then this grey underneath, pretty cool markings. If I was going to build this one, um, I'm going to be tempted to do this. Uh, top Gunners, uh, Top Cat, um, nice one. Stencil data, love them or hate them, they're all over the aircraft. And weapon colour call ups. In Hobby Bus instructions, Good camera. Right, as we go, typical hobby boss instructions there they're in black and white. We have sprue map and the, the part of the kit is working on the cockpit. So we've been working on a jet to seat. We do have fellow etching the kit, jet to rail, cockpit tub, flight stick. Decals and instrument panels, side walls of the cockpit. This is the wheel bay, some piping. Attaching the uh, cockpit to the, the upper part of the wheel wheel bay, savaging two halves together. We do notice here and here there is electronics bay, which is open. We have. Um, Lower wing section, this is the uh, up, 
structural part for the underside as well and we have part of the wing assembly don't forget to drill out the holes it's probably for attaching weapons and stuff and pylons this is the underside section of the cockpit area and nose get attached flipping over you've got back spine to go in they're asking for the glass to go in already this is the radar system and head up display parts Open or closed canopy options, open or closed nose, which is here, open nose. Again, I'm, I'm probably ain't going to end up doing mine all open. Open nose, open side panels, cockpit open, wing fold, do the whole shebang and it's going to probably look superb. Um, engines, again, we do get full length engines. This is part of the underside as well and side of the aircraft. Engines and full length intakes that can go in and then top and bottom sandwich together. And then we are working on undercarriage. We have the down hook and up for carrier based. Obviously, because it is a carrier based aircraft. You, if you've got the um, diorama, you can do it like that. Side hatches going on, which you can leave off and you can see the engine. I don't think that's, in, that's real. On the real aircraft, I don't think those that is a removable panel. I'll have to check my references. Parts of the uh, landing gear going in that's highly detailed. Main landing gear, left and right, and front nose wheel, standard stuff. Landing gear doors and small detail parts. This section here is the uh, side panel hatches again i'm going to have mine open like it's shown here landing gear doors pretty standard left and right flaps and wings two halves hard points these look like and these are leading edge flaps fold wings and normal wings Hopefully these pieces are the attachment points for the fold and outer. Maybe you could get away with not gluing these into the wing and it may be how to swap them out. We can take a look, closer look at that when it comes to building this. I do want to build this quite soon actually. I want to hopefully try and build this and then as soon as the uh, new uh, F4 Phantom comes out from Tamiya I want to do that straight after so I want to get this done first. Hard points going on, a rest of hook in the down or whatever. Some more spines and detail parts, engines uh, in power down position or probably with afterburner, open, open engines. And then it's touching the wings at the back. Hopefully you've got flaps that can be adjusted slightly. Um, and if you've got the canopy open, you, you can got your boarding ladder, which is, again, it's all, all nice touches. You do get a lot of stuff in this kit, and the way you can display it in different options is uh, quite good, good of them. Fuel tanks, missiles, bombs. This is a nice touch as well. We've got the buddy pod for refueling. Wasn't expecting to see that in the kit. So that would be a nice touch as well, having, I don't know, built this with the robotic buddy pod now, if you want it in flight, with another airplane behind it, I think that will look pretty cool. Don't see much uh, dioramas or setups done like that. Uh, we have NAASQ, these look like targeting pods or something. We have GBU 10s, standard bombs, GBU 12s, MK 83, I think three full bombs, kind of. Uh, ARAM X, uh, ARAM 9X missiles, standard GB 24s, and hard points. So there's quite a large array setup as well. And this is your 
uh, load out how you want to do it. Pretty standard stuff, quite a lengthy book, quite in depth, um, 40 steps in total. So let's take a look at the parts. One thing I do want to show you before I uh, forget is the markings. Let's get the knife and let's have a look. So this sheet here is the uh, stencil data. It's done by, uh, I think Hobby Boss do their own markings. So here is the stencil data, pretty standard stuff. Um, it does look like it's their own, it doesn't look like cardigraph or anything. Hobby Boss markings are pretty good. I have recently finished a uh, kit with Hobby Boss and it was the uh, Swedish CV90, which is the U United Nations vehicle, and those decals went down nicely. Um, I did have an issue with the UN, um, but lucky I had a spare set of decals so I could do it. Um, in here, standard bit of follow etch, some seat belts. Um, no doubt there'll be aftermarket coming up for this, like Air Dards, follow etch, set, and stuff like that. I'll probably get those. Um, so I'm not too fan of having to paint my own seat belts. I, I, I don't like doing that. I prefer the stuff is already coloured. And you do get some hose for the uh, buddy pod, or fueling pod, which is nice. Main markings is in here. Two big sheets. Oops. So... This smaller sheet has Mavericks markings from Top Gun Movie and Blue Angel markings. So here is the Blue, Blue Angel markings. You can see the carrier film is in between all of these letters, which is a nice touch. You want that on these large ones because these can have a tendency to just fold up on itself like I had with the UN markings. Um, United States Navy is again it's got carrier film stuck in between it's nicely done these are the Maverick markings um, the Navy training school doesn't look as crisp as I would like but pretty cool markings as for the main markings for the other schemes it's printed on this sheet like I say, if I'm going to, when it comes to do mine, I'm going to do the Tom Catters, which is the one in the middle here. Pretty cool. I think it's Felix the Cat, if I'm not mistaken. But again, standard stuff. You do get instrument markings, but they're okay for what you get in the, within the kit, but they're a bit pants. I'm probably going to try out the new Quinton once they release a set for this which is the 3D printed stuff um, but the rest of it does look pretty cool as for the main kit itself we've got tons of sp screws to get through let's start with the main body and which is what most people want to see and myself included because I haven't seen it seen it in, the, in this kit yet. So here's the main body. Nicely done. Sadly, you see here, get to pin on top of the aircraft. I wish they would have done it on the inside. So you're gonna have to take care of that. It is pretty close to rivets, so you have to be careful taking care of that but it's, it's nicely molded you've got to cut this piece out for the cockpit to be done but the rest of it looks quite nicely done these louvers at the back are somewhat slide molded but the detail looks really really crisp and it doesn't feel like a hobby boss kit if you know what I mean I've built a hell of a lot of hobby boss stuff in the past and this doesn't feel like their style of kit.
So in this bag we have doors. So this is so we have part of the cockpit instrument panel. These are the side doors, some flaps, some hard points. This is a spine that sits on the back here. So this will go inside there. Don't know why they've done it a separate piece, unless there's other parts coming out at a later date. We have two in this bag. Another thing I like with Hobby Boss is they get separate bags and delicate parts, they wrap it in foam um, they listen to the community they try and take care of the community with their kits because the last thing they want is their kits to be damaged and customers complaining so they do listen I believe and I think they're one of the best out there so we get so there is two of these it wrapped up. Don't know why they wrapped it up, but I imagine it's to protect all of this. So we do it like I say there's two of these. So we've got hard points. These are attachments for your weapons. Exhaust nozzles. That is pretty damn good for plastic. This is the depth powered down and open version. Two piece wheels. I'm never a fan of two piece wheels, no matter who does it. I always get resin, which no doubt I probably will replace. More hard points. Do you need aftermarket? Probably not, but I will for some of it. Parts of the engine, nicely done. More engine detail parts. This is looks like inside the engine, turbines, and we have more hard points and the detail looks really really good rivets again it's going to take a nice wash there's a jet to seat being there there's two of these you are going to get two jet to seats but you're only going to need the one there are side rails which is attached to another sprue because it's not on here but you do get fine detail parts like piping um, and that's the detail on the wheels um, there wasn't much else to show you on this sprue, but it is pretty good. We've got two in this bag, and these look like weapons. So we're only going to need one of these. We have bombs, unfortunately they are two piece, um, fins, hard points, the missiles, the GBUs, more fins and then more pipes and stuff so it's a large sprue of some weapons. There's one sprue in this bag. This looks like landing gear segments. I'm surprised this wasn't covered in foam because this has got quite a lot of fragile parts on it, but nonetheless. So down here we have detail parts, I'm not 100% sure what they are, but we have these parts are for their folded wing section detail parts, here's your main landing gear there is a little bit of a bird, but that's easy to take care of there's both sides of the landing gear these are more landing gear segments more hard points that looks like the flight stick yeah, if I'm not mistaken that's the flight stick Again, there is two two parts or two in this kit. 
no doubt they're going to make the two-seater version at some point and others so hence why there's probably remnants of the two-seater in here we do have slide molded down this section and these are leading edge slats of some sort so this is nicely done In here we have more weapons and the buddy refueling pod sections and there's two of these so we're only going to need the one if you're not going to use the buddy refueling pod on this you can always use it for a later build which is a nice touch so we again, main weapons, some large missiles, so no doubt these two will probably go together, vice versa. Bombs, there's part of the, the uh, rack system for it. Here is the buddy refueling pod, one half and two halves. The actual refueling cone is moulded here. Nicely done. We have more GBUs and the other side. Fins down the bottom. And more hard hard points and rails. And we have these really fine tubes at the end. So again, nicely done on the weapon system. In here we have parts of the intake, structural main body, So here is part of the intake system, here and here, here is part of the wings and this is part of the main body, your cockpit fuselage half goes through the centre here, so this is the underside of the aircraft as well, a little bit grainy on that bit, these are nice and smooth, these are the, uh, part of the wing assembly. These are landing gear doors by looks of things, and these are intakes. There is, unfortunately, these jetter pins right here and here. Don't know if you're going to see those. But there's no jetter pins on the other side, so you may, may be lucky. But again, nicely done. Here is part of the uh, wheel bay. Again, nice detail. I'm impressed with this um, Hornet. I have a couple of Hornets in my stash. I have one from Ravel, which is the Top Gun one, which is an old kit from early 90s, I think. I do have Kinetic um, Blue Angels, which is their old, one of their older aircraft, one of the older Hornets. So, And you can see the way the manufacturers have done there is completely different in all three kits. The way they have gone to go about it but this this one seems the better one of three that i have and it's nicer so we have more leading edge flaps or parts of the fuselage wings nicely done molded as one piece wings so you haven't got about no halves they're molded as one piece these are like leading edge flaps. This looks like internal bays for landing gear. Landing gear doors. All the way along. Looks like radio equipment. Here's that radar dome. It is. Got some kind of texture. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up. I just imagine it's done like a goldy metal colour. Here is your nose. Here, this is going to be slide moulded as some kind of weird angle. 
Uh, here is part of the uh, radar system. So is this piece. Nicely done as well. There's only one main screw left and then it's some smaller screws which are like extra fuel tanks, lower body and clear. Um, So this one consists of wings and side of the aircraft. So here's the side of the aircraft. Mm, superb detail again. Part of the wing fold. And these part of the wings as well. These are two halves. So these go inside. This goes inside this. So these are, come on camera focus. Again, nicely done. These are the uh, two V-shaped fins or wings at the back. Here's the side of the aircraft of the cockpit. Here is inside internal bays of the uh, electronics. Nicely done. I'm going to have to do my references to uh, have a look and see what colour these are. I so imagine it's insignia white on the inside, but electronic bays are probably like greys and blacks. A bit of a wash in there. Probably be job is a good and I think that's pretty much what it is but as I say I'm going to have to check my references I do have a reference book for the Super Hornet and it was done by Sam Productions um, I will show you quickly at the end what the book is but I won't show you too much of the book if you um, wish to uh, see the book I can do a separate video on the book Here is another screw, this is screw F, and here is the uh, cockpit tub. You've got some basic dials, but you're going to probably want to detail that up a little bit, especially if you have the hatch open, because I do want to do this on the ground, all open. Some hard points maybe, actually these could be, not hard points, these could be the rail system for your canopy. Here's looks like either air brake or part of the aircraft spine, again, I think this is internals. I think this is the back of the uh, uh, cockpit area. In this bag you just got some extra fuel tanks. So not really need to get them out. There's four fuel tanks. Nothing fancy. And here is the main lower body. Which has wheel bay molded in as well. Here's the lower part of the aircraft. So the engines here, wheel bay, and then the cockpit nose and whatever sticks out the front here. But the internal wheel bay does look nice. Probably could detail it up a little bit more with a little bit of wiring, but I think the other box is going to be just fine. You can seal the hatches underneath, lumps and bumps. But again, I'm going to check my references. Uh, I think it's insignia white for the main part. Your black and grey bits here and there, and then the wash. It'd just be more than more, more than fine to uh, do that. Nicely parts. And the last two is going to be clear. Hopefully, these clear parts are really good because Hobby Boss are normally. Pretty damn good on there, clear. I do like the attention to detail, especially for keeping things clear. This doesn't look too bad. It is a bit of a complex curve. It is a bit of a bit of a wobble, just like Floyd's. I did see his review on this kit. Um, and he did mention these clears was a bit of a disappointment. Looks like mine are the same. They're not the best out there. If you're having it open, it shouldn't be a problem. But having the canopy closed is probably going to be a bit of an issue. Um, so 
don't know how well you can see but the uh, it's not as clear as, as summer canopies out there and let's have a look at the main canopy So here's the main canopy. We have got kind of a centre seam, maybe to take care of. I don't know if polishing this out is going to make any difference. But again, there is a slight wobble to it. I can understand of the curvature of the nature of the of the clear being like that. Um, I, what I do like as well is around the leading edge. This part is part of the fuselage. It's not just clear. That helps with gluing and masking up and stuff. But yeah, my canopy is the same as Flory's. It is a little bit blurry, which is a shame. So there you are, my friends. There's another kit from Hobby Boss. It's their brand new 148 scale FA18E Super Hornet. It's a nice kit, it should go together nicely. I think it's one of the best out there. You get a lot of options, opening all the stuff up, wing fold, the uh, side instrument panel, the uh, radar dome, pretty cool. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.